Hey, it's Isaiah here at PAX West 2018. I'm in the booth with... Uh, Thomas Foss, lead designer at Neverwinter. I always mess that up, but that's okay. No worries. <laughs> it's a very loud convention. So I have, a lot, I have lots of questions for you. Some of them you can't answer because not everything you know off the top of your head. Yeah, we'd have to kill you. Yeah, afterwards. yeah. So let me uh, start with this first question here. Uh -huh. Any new classes or race, com race going to be announced at PAX or near future? Not at PAX. Uh, oh, that's a cool question. And uh, near future, um, probably not before 2019. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, so maybe a new expansion or something? Oh yeah, we definitely have new expansions coming out, big new expansions. We have the, the M15 expansion, which is Acquisitions Inc., which will be coming out like next month, coming out live, I think, next month. Uh, and then we're already working on M16, right, for, for all of that. Uh, so we're always working on new modules and stuff. But in terms of a new, uh, a new class, not coming out right. And the reason for that, for our players knowing, is we've been working on all the class balances for everything. We want to make sure that everything has a, a, a level playing field and we've cleaned up a lot of things before we actually add a new class to everything, right? Yeah. Well, that actually comes to one of my other questions. Do you plan or have any plans that for balancing the DPS classes so that they are equal? A variable damage dealers, GWF nerfs, buffs, or other classes like that? We're constantly working on that, uh, and I actually have two of my system designers dedicated to that right now. So you won't see it this module, but coming out uh, in, in, in upcoming modules, you'll definitely see that. So the answer is absolutely. I figure as much. So here's another one. How about this? So any uh, SW fixes like uh, damnation, feet we work, uh, boosting the soul puppet, or any uh, more self buffs? Uh, that's a very, uh, very specific question, and uh, I'm not going to answer that because I'm not my systems guy, and I'm not looking at the schedule right now to see exactly which uh, things we have on the fix chart. Right? I completely understand that one. Uh, any other class balancing schedule very soon? You think of? Is there anything else here not about class balance? Uh, again, uh, the whole idea is that we are uh, taking a look at all of the classes. And, and anybody uh, that plays Neverwinter knows from when we had our Rocktober this year, uh, which like was an entire month of where we actually just fixed bugs and talked to the players about things that we wanted to fix, both that the, the, we as devs wanted to fix and that the players wanted to fix. And we gave a lot of love to the classes then. And since then, it was... Uh, it not only popular but necessary. Uh, I've been dedicating a lot of uh, more than 25% of my system time each module to doing fixes. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Let's get past the ones that are keep repeating themselves. Uh, when are we getting back to the old dungeons? Are we getting back to them? Bring them back? Yes. That's all you have. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so right now the minimum level item level for dungeons is terribly low, as the community says. I, I, yeah, I can't okay, do yeah. 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 Uh, one way to fix this would be to increase the minimum level for public queues and allow up to 2,000 low, 2, lower level items or private queues. Um, do you have any plans like this coming soon or anything like that? It's like you're just like awful to spoilers. So I have to drag you in the back, and they're like not going to see you again afterwards. Uh, so let's see. What can I talk about this? Uh, item level scaling is a very important part of Neverwinter, yeah. and it's uh, and along with uh, fixing the players and power fixes, that this is uh, absolutely high on our doc on our bucket list for things to work on. But that's about all I can say right now. I, like I said, these are a lot of these yeah, are coming from the community that really wants to and, know, and, these are great and they're dedicated to you guys. And, and I and I love these questions. These are super good questions. So I'm glad to have this chance to actually talk about it. Yeah, they're, like I said, they're dedicated. So some of them repeat, but they want to know these answers. Yeah, but, and, I, and I can only <laughs> tell them so much without giving too many spoilers or my boss coming down on me. I completely understand that. Uh, another one. Any plans for mid-range five to twelve k item levels content to be launched? Wait, could you read that question, please? Any plans for mid-range 5 to 12 item level? Oh, content to be Yeah, uh, I messed it up originally. Hmm. Well, you know, the new, uh, the new um, module we have coming out, the, the Heart of Fire, uh, featuring Acquisitions, Inc., is actually a low-level campaign. So you actually started at level 15, and it's a campaign that actually grows with you as you go up through levels to, to 70. So it will have some of that stuff in there, right? Absolutely. Uh, but it's also designed so, like, uh, high-level 70 players or in-game players currently can, um, can also uh, engage in the content. And the prize at the end is actually really well worthwhile. So there's gear in there absolutely for both, for both those ranges. Yeah, definitely, because all these kind of games is 
replayability is the main goal. So if you hit right. you hit 70, you don't want to be like, I have nothing left to do. Right, sure. And, and for the console players, the Ravenloft, which is just live now, uh, is uh, uh, when you actually go into Ravenloft, I think the item level scare is 10k. I, I should know that number right now. It's a little oversleepy. Welcome to PAX, people. Uh, but. Uh, but when you actually play the uh, tutorial, we give you gear to be leveled up at that range so that you can go on and move play. To play. Awesome. Yeah. So let's uh, jump to a little farther on. These are all questions, plan, plan, plan. So um, the strongholds have been rumored to have an expansion soon. Will this happen in mod 15 or a later mod? Not in mod 15, but in a later mod, yes. Oh, so they already knew the answer to that one. <laughs> Uh, could we get a new NPC in the guild stronghold that would that could be a guild historian? Oh, that's an awesome idea. Um, I'm going to remember that one because I'll look at this interview later uh, and write that one down. I love that idea. Okay, so not yet. <laughs> not yet. I've never thought of it. So I mean. Uh, one of the cool things about Neverwinter, right, is like when, when we first designed the game, we had this idea of what the game was going to be, right? Like, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons game. But when you launch a game live like this, the, it after it becomes the fans' game, right? It becomes the players' game, and they start kind of informing us through their ways of gameplay of how they want the game to be. So you know, uh, so you know, dungeons get changed a little bit. I, I redesigned how we did dungeons. More skirmishes added, events, different powers, player powers, inspected things. So things like and things like the historian. That's a great key item that like I love that the players want that we could probably figure out a way to put that in the game absolutely like I said you, you said it's the people's game you guys created the game you came up with the idea sure. and then people are adding on to it through the community forums Do you guys browse the community forums continually and constantly I uh, yeah I, I say this over and over again in our whenever I'm doing interviews uh, especially thing like I'm not on the forums all the time uh, but I have everybody on my team are on the forums all the time and they bring things to us. Or a community manager, Julia Fredrickson, is fantastic and she's always highlighting things and emailing me like, dude, here's a hot ticket item or here's a really cool idea and uh, and we should uh, we should take a look at it, right? So we, my team is very good about being on the forums and, and we're just a strong thing to do. We love talking with our community. Is there a forum they should go them to get your informa information to you first? Like, is it your website forum, or does it doesn't no, matter? No, it's, it's, it's our Neverwinter forum on ARC, yeah. right? Yeah, so we do that. We look at Reddit as well, right? So it's everything, basically. It's yeah. everything, yeah, yeah. I know that. Some, some people, sometimes people only look at, like, Bungie only, usually only looks at their own website, you no, know? No, 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 no. We try, to, we try to look at all the different websites, right? Because, because a lot of our console players aren't necessarily going to the ARC forums. It's more of a PC-related thing, right? So the console players hit Reddit a lot more, or Twitter, and you know, things like that. So we're always looking at those as well. Awesome. So let's uh, try to sneak in one more question or sure. two more. Uh, any plans to revamp a PvP? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I love PvP. I helped design the original matches in Gonthalgrim. But uh, as I said earlier, uh, before we can actually balance PvP, I have to balance the player powers. Yeah. Right? It's, it's all, it all stacks up on top of each other. So yes, absolutely, plans for PvP. I've got a PvP map that's been sitting fallow for over a year that we've not been able to launch because we don't have the right PvP uh, fixes to actually make it happen. So I'm really keen on it and uh, it's, look for it in the future. Yeah, you definitely don't want to break a game by releasing something too early or something that if you don't balance correctly before you release it, then everything's kind of... Yeah, it's yeah. just, just be more of the same in a different battlefield. I want to make it cool and engaging. Awesome. So last one, you might be able to answer the, able to answer. Uh, when is the 64-bit sound issue going to be fixed? <laughs> is this a big question? I don't know. That is above my pay grade. That's like the core engineers, right? Uh, I, Engineers are like wizards. You hope that they're going to do the thing you want them to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I don't want to I don't want to say I know how it works yeah. because there's so many levels to every single type of game. Sound is different than graphics. It's different than uh, keyboard, mouse. Everything is yeah. different. You know? Yeah, I, I again, I know it's on our list to, to take a look at, and I'm actually kind of surprised it's not fixed yet. Uh, um, or maybe it is on our end, and you guys have a link. I, so I, honestly, I can't comment on that one because I don't have the right answer, other than. Core engineers are wizards, and they act like it. So it may be coming soon. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for this interview. I know it's not everybody gets to uh, talk with you and really get in depth look at Neverwinter. Yeah. No, I'm really happy to have the opportunity to do this. That's what PAX is all about, right? right. Yeah. All right. So as I say, PAX 2018, come by the booth. This whole are you here whole weekend? I'm here all weekend through Monday, right? 
Yeah. Come bother him. He'll be happy to answer your questions about these fixes. Yeah, come play <laughs> the game. Check out the new uh, Acquisitions Inc. stuff and get one of our cool posters and pennies. And you can definitely check out more videos on overclockersclub.com. And have a great day. Right. Cheers.